sure I'm live on Facebook. Hello, I am so excited to announce and show you Baby Jeeps giveaway. This is the first Healing Hearts giveaway I have not uh, been at exclusively or specifically. Um, wasn't there, live in person. Um, we did do a handoff to ensure the safety of um, the recipient. So I wanted to share with you the application. I want to introduce to you the gal that has Jeep and share her story and then show you a video of the surprise giveaway. So let's learn about Karen. This was a, this was a, a challenging healing hearts giveaway for a few different reasons. Jeep was a singleton puppy who wasn't raised, um, you know, normally, you know, let's just be real. He was raised in our house by humans. Ironically, I didn't have another litter to incorporate him into, and he wasn't the best nurser anyway, otherwise he would have just stayed with his mom. And so having to help him nurse and latch, um, and there just wasn't another, another litter for him to be raised with, he did lack some normal dog skills as, as hard as we tried. And so keeping that in mind that he, he does have some special needs did influence who I chose and why I chose them. Um, always honoring our puppies so that they can continue to be the best they can be and not forcing them to be somebody that they're not is so important to me. Karen has been selected. Let me share with you Karen's story. Her daughter nominated her, and I'm going to read um, to you the application that was shared with me. My mom is a retired middle school teacher who lives by herself in a house with a dog-friendly yard in San Diego. She has such a big heart, worked in a low-income public school, and went over and above to engage, educate, and inspire her students during her teaching days. She has suffered through some tough times, a painful divorce uh, from my dad due to his infidelity, raising my two youngest brothers on her own, going back to college to get her master's degree in her late 40s, caring for 10 years for her own mom who suffered a debilitating stroke and two previous bouts of breast cancer. But through it all, she looked for the positive, found gratitude, and modeled perseverance for me and my three brothers. She has always had a dog, usually labs. Her last dog, Cola, was a lab rescue who suffered from hip dysplasia requiring two separate surgeries. And at the end of his life, my mom utilized a sling to help him stand. He passed away approximately three years ago. He was my mom's heart dog and they connected in such a deep way it has taken her her time to be ready for another companion. My mom and Cooper have a mutual adoration for each other. Cooper is this family's doodle um, and she constantly expresses her wonder at his disposition, his love being touched, hugged and loved on. Um, so much of the exposure and temperament of the 4E kennel puppies. This year has been an exceptionally difficult one for her. The isolation that the COVID pandemic has brought for a woman her age is unprecedented. She is terrified of dying alone in a hospital from COVID and therefore this fear has isolated and restricted her activities and relationships. She also was recently diagnosed with a third bout of breast cancer. Luckily, it was found uh, early and after undergoing a, lump a lumpectomy, she will not have to undergo chemotherapy or radiation. My mom would be the perfect person for Jeep. She also has a radiant soul that has endured hardship and yet continues to bring light and hope and happiness to the people who know and love her. She has the unrestricted time, dog knowledge, uh, desire, and boundless love um, that she would be able to shower upon our little Jeep Jeep. Jeep and my mom would be able to re-explore the world together, inspiring my mom to again walk her neighborhood, talk to her neighbors, venture to the beach, and be each other's trusted and best companion. There is nothing my mom loves better than a dog to snuggle. Jeep would be so loved and would find his purpose with my mom. Thank you for this opportunity. So as you can see, reading this application, it absolutely felt right for Jeep's special needs as well as a healing hearts and changing lives um, mission and motto for Karen um, to receive this dog. Truly life-changing for her. And it sounds like 
they both needed each other just as much as the other. Let me share a video of, with you today as um, Karen's daughter Jennifer brought Jeet to her and surprised her. Let's watch the video now. Oh my god, there's my trooper! Hi! Oh, you came to see the grandma! Did you came to see the grandma! Oh, it's my baby doggy! Hi, Coop! You came to see me! Get Cooper! Oh, are you taking a video? What are you taking? Did you know your mom? Oh my, did you know your mom? What the heck? Hi, Mom! Cooper! Yes, I love my... Mom, I, 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 a miracle happened. Did you get a dog? Another dog? No. We have that. Oh my god. We have baby Jeep for you. Oh, it's Jeep. Oh, oh Cooper, my it's god. Jeep. Taking a video of no, I mean, I, I got Jeep. You got Jeep. Why did they get a Jeep? Jeep. Okay, isn't he so oh. calm? Oh, he was perfect the whole ride. Oh my god, Jeep. Oh my god, he's a kid or something. Oh my god. Oh, what an amazing uh, surprise to be able to, you know, surprise Karen with this uh, very, very special puppy. I'm going to get emotional. As, um, our home is feeling very lonely and quiet today, but being able to see this video and um, know that this was the perfect fit for both Jeep and Karen, and I couldn't have found a better human for him and his special needs, as well as giving some hope and healing to Karen as well during this time and thanking her for everything she's endured and especially being a teacher at a high risk school is something I very much relate to and know how difficult that is. So um, what a perfect fit. Thank you all so much for all of your support and love to this journey of raising our first ever for Forey Kennels, my first time ever having to raise, I've been very blessed that I've always had a mom to take the puppies. This was our very first time raising a puppy from hand. From day one, we raised him. He didn't have um, a litter to be a part of. He was raised a singleton. He's been such a little miracle from the beginning. Um, when we ultrasound his mom, there was more than one puppy. When she delivered, there was only one. So she absorbed at least one puppy. Um, he couldn't latch correctly. I didn't think he would survive through that. We taught him how to take the bottle. Uh, he was never super good at it, but he but he did it. We had some issues with some uh, his, in, impaction. His bowels were impacted. He even spent a day at the vet. I thought I was going to lose him. It has been an incredibly emotional journey. And then to watch him flourish and grow um, has been incredibly um I feel so honored. I feel so honored that uh, to be a part, a small part of his life. It's been, uh, we fed him around the clock every six hours. I don't know what I do with all my free time now. I don't have to get up at 2 a.m. to my family, to my kids that helped with the tireless efforts of even just keeping this little guy alive. And then Jenna really stepping in when it was time to start working on um, exposure and teaching him correct dog language to my pack, to Han and Holly and Forrest and Augie, who did such a beautiful job with him, really helping guide him and teach him, teach him how to behave and understand when a dog growls or when a dog does want to play. There are still definitely some challenges that Jeep will face, but I absolutely feel he is in the right home, in the right hands, with the right heart to continue to guide him and help him through some of the challenges he will continue to face. So there you have it. Another Healing Hearts giveaway. Another very, very special puppy for a very, very special person. We will continue to share this story. Um, I, you know, definitely have lots of video and pictures from, from the very beginning of Jeep, a lot that I haven't shared, kind of documenting his journey. So I can't wait to share that with you. And I will continue to share 
updates with Karen and little baby Jeep Jeep. I know we're all wondering, what is she gonna name him? I'll let you know as soon as she lets us know. So for today, it's a little heavy. I'm a little heavy hearted. It's a little quiet here at the Forey Farm. Very, very quiet house. Um, but I'm so incredibly happy for Karen and watching this video definitely made things feel right. Bye guys.